Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I welcome you to my new amazing project rock paper scissor game. So in this we are going to see this game using HTML CSS and JavaScript. So first let's refresh it. So here we have a three beautiful buttons with icon rock paper scissor and here the message choose your weapon so which weapon you want to choose if you choose rock paper scissor it will give the result best as compared to the computer so if i choose rock it's saying you choose rock computer choose scissor you win so let's type for paper you choose paper computer choose scissor computer wins so let's try paper again so we have a scissor then if you choose scissor computer choose row computer wins so like that we can play many times if you want so before that if you are new to our channel please don't forget to subscribe us so come to our vs code so in this vs code we have a beautiful title rock paper scissor game in our html file then we have linked our here font awesome for icons then here we have a css file we have linked our this css file then in this body tag we have a div with class game and in this div we have a h1 tag rock paper scissor so in this div we have a rock paper scissor you can see and then we have a div with class choice and in this we have a three buttons rock paper scissor and we have a icons for our buttons and then we have a text for our buttons then we have another div with class result in this we have given that please choose your weapon then here we have a javascript file so in starting when you let's start the game it will say please choose your weapon see when i refresh on it so it is saying that please choose your weapon so when uh, when you choose our weapon like i choose wrong so it will give the result that you have been win so come to our css file for a styling so here we have a poppins font family then in body tag we have a beautiful color and a font family poppins and serif and in game class we have a, here we have a class with name game so in this we have a background color border radius and box shadow so as your need you can style it in your own so here uh, we have a text align center with 30 rem left 34 rem top 30 rem and transition transform translate we have a 100 percent and 50 percent then for our h1 tag we have a beautiful color for this h1 tag which you can see here then we have a choice class in this choice we have a display flex justify content center and margin 20 pixel and zero then we have a buttons for the button border none border radius 5 pixel and a box shadow to look it good and then color white then cursor pointer font size 16 pixel and a padding transition font weight like that we can use the different CSS property to make it beautiful according to a need you can customize it so if you don't know css you can go and learn it's completely free on youtube so here we have a div uh, here we have a rock id and with this color then when you hover on rock it will transform translate two percent in x and y direction and transition point three second eight. so when i hover and see it's going down and it's changing color so in both x and y direction see so like that for paper also we have a change our color and hovering effect and it's going x and y direction at two percent and transition point three second is similarly for seizure also we have taken here then for our result class we have a 
background color border radius and a box shadow so then we have a margin and padding 20 pixel and then color of our result is this color code and font weight 550 so that's it for the CSS now come for our JavaScript so here in JavaScript first we are going to store in a constant choice the choice button which button you want to select so for that then result for giving the result with text then we have a let player choice and computer choice two variables then in this we have a choice for each means we are in the if add event listener to our uh, user to what what user can select based on their so here we have a play game function so this play game function we have passed here so according to the play game function what I have user has selected it will compare with the computer chosen weapon and if mm, compare if uh, my weapon is stronger then I will win if computer weapon is stronger than computer will win so how it will play the game so here you have a function play game so in this we have a player choice this dot id it will select the id so uh, id means uh, here we are getting the that button so we are taking that which uh, player uh, choose which button uh, rock paper scissors so it will select that then computer choice uh, what how computer choice equal to computer choice function so how computer will uh, select uh, which uh, i will choose if a uh, user choose wrong how, what i will choose how it will choose so for that we have created the function get computer choice we'll see let, uh, down so here we have a constant winner a variable so get winner function so how it will get the winner so for that also we have created one function that we have passed here then for the child text content uh, means it will show the text how means you choose player choice means what you have choose means if i choose rock means i have choose rock you choose rock then computer choose computer choice means you have passed here computer choose so here computer choose uh, means uh, paper means computer choose paper and the winner so it will give the winner function here we are getting the winner constant which i have been uh, stored so here we are getting the name of the winner so the main thing is coming here so get computer choice how computer will select its choice so here we have a constant choice rock paper scissors we have array and then in this array we are going to give an constant random index so uh, for using math dot random we are going to select the index for this from 0 to 2 so 0 1 2 so 3 we have a 0 1 2 in array it's a start counting from 0 1 2 so according it will uh, generate the random error this uh, con very constant random dot index it will generate the random uh, index position using math dot random and according to that it will choose and it will return the choice random dot index whatever so according to that it will choose so like this computer will choose then how it will uh, show that which is winner so if player choice equal to computer choice it is a tie game means computer also choose rock i also choose rock means it is a tie no one win so if computer choose paper i also choose paper means computer and paper both uh, me or computer choose paper means both we have a tie game so no one wins so if uh, uh, player choice and computer choice uh, not equal then what will happen so here we have a else if then if player choice equal to rock and computer choice equal to scissor and if player choice equal to paper and computer choice equal to rock here we have a, another condition player choice scissor and computer choice paper then you win means we will win means if this three condition will happen then user will win then if this condition will not be there means 
other than this condition will happen then we have written computer wins so like this the game will work so if i choose wrong it is changing you choose wrong computer choose scissor you win if i choose scissor it will tell you choose scissor computer choose scissor it is a tie game so like that we have created a beautiful rock paper scissor game using html css and javascript so hope you guys like the video subscribe the channel and don't forget to share with your friends